Okay, hey guys, the game leader here, and welcome back for another unboxing video. As you guys can see right there in front of you, it is the PlayStation Backbone 1, obviously the PlayStation Edition. Now, this is made for the iPhone, as you guys can see right there at the bottom. And this kind of a backbone, there is already a version for the Xbox users, but if you are a PlayStation user, then this is made for you. Now guys, before I even start up with the unboxing of this, please take a moment and look at this really quick video. Make sure you hit that like button, also please subscribe and press the bell button so you guys can receive emails and notifications when I upload any video. Okay, hey guys and welcome back, thank you guys for watching that really quick short video. So without further ado, let's start up with the unboxing of the PlayStation Backbone 1, the PlayStation Edition. As you guys can see there in front of you, it is the Backbone itself and the iPhone placed in the middle. Take a look at the back, let me zoom in so you guys can see much better on the wording. Let the camera focus, there you go. So it says, Backbone, transform your iPhone into a next level gaming device. Let me zoom in on this so you guys can see much better. Play games that support controls or connect services like PS3 Remote Play, Xbox Game Pass, Apple Arcade and much more. And here we go, record and edit game clips, low latency, no charging needed. And there you go, you can see the backbone itself right there. Let me zoom out. And I believe for the iPhone users which have the 13 Pro Max, like me, there is a special adapter that you connect right here for the iPhone to stay much in place because of the camera that it has. So on top it just says works for with iPhone models running with latest version. All right, there you go. Backbone written on fear here. I don't think you can see that much, but it says backbone. So that's pretty much with the box. So without further ado, let's open this up. So first things first is to take out the strap. There you go. So put the strap to the side and let's see from where this thing opens. Okay, just simply slide this. There you go. So I'm going to put this to the side for now. And there you have it, backbone. There you go. Nothing special about the box, simply just backbone and lift this up. There we go. And there is the adapter that I have talked to you about regarding the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Pro. Okay, so we'll take a look at that later on. But first thing you notice obviously is just the backbone itself over here. So let's take a look. Lift this up. Snap in, game on, okay. So put this to the side. Here is the backbone, I'm going to put this to the side for now. Nothing else I believe underneath. No, there is something. And I believe it's just a piece of warranty and some instructions, safety guide. We'll take a look at that later on, no need for now. And let's take a look at the adapter. Peel that off, put this to the side, and there you have it. Let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can see adapter for iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I'm going to zoom this out, and let's open this tiny little box. And there you go, there is the adapter. So I'm going to put it to the side, close this up, put that there. And let's take a look at the backbone. But first things first, guys, let me clear up a little bit and I will catch you up in a bit. Okay, hey guys, and welcome back. So everything is cleared up. So now let's take a look at the backbone itself. So here is the adapter. I will show you later on how to install it. It's really simple. So for now, let's take a look at the backbone. So first things first, you can see the left analog stick as well as the D-pad buttons as well as the screenshot and I believe this is the options button or a record button. I'm not really sure about that. You can see backbone, 
as well as the L1 and L2 buttons you can see this is as well at a trigger okay it feels good alright in the end let's take a look at the right side you can see the backbone button I believe this is the go home or maybe this is the go home as well I'm not really sure about this as this is my really first time using a backbone device you can see the right analog stick as well as the X, square, triangle and circle buttons and the R1 and R2 button as well as the charging port for you to charge obviously the backbone from the phone as well as the bottom you can see the headphone jack alright just in case you want to plug in some headphones and if the iPhone is running low on battery you can simply charge the phone as well from the backbone itself at the bottom and finally let's take a look at the back of it if you pull this apart you can see the PlayStation logo how cool is that so let's plug in our adapter let me zoom out so simply the adapter is used guys because the iPhone 13 since it has such a huge uh, camera lens if you don't plug in the adapter that they give you it just won't fit right it will fit but it won't be comfortable the uh, adapter will make the things work as they should be so simply just slide this right here and pull that to the side and there you go it just locks in place and now let's take out my iPhone simply slide that in pull this out and slide the charging port into the iPhone there you go and it just stays really really nice there you go so guys let me open up my iPhone so let me use the face ID there you go and let's go to the backbone application which is right here let me zoom in so you guys can see much better so welcome to backbone so let's press the X button so I'm going to sign in with Apple okay guys so I just signed in so pick an emoji for your profile since I love riding my bike motorcycle I'm going to use this one so I'm going to press X pick your backbone display name so I'm going to go with same thing with the one that I use for my PlayStation let's hope it's not taken alright welcome to backbone congrats your backbone comes with a free trial of backbone plus and exclusive perks okay backbone plus exclusive products these and monthly in game items free games all right, all right, let's continue. Stay up to date, know when new games are added, friends online, and when you're. Yes, I'm going to allow that. Press allow. Share great moments. Record unlimited gameplay at 1080 30 frames per second. Okay, got it. Secure your bragging rights. Record gameplay. Okay, that's good. I need to press it. I think so okay hold to take a screenshot all right there we go so this button basically is if you press it once you record and if you press and hold you just take the screenshot so I still don't know what these three dots mean <laughs> so let's continue keep your clips safe enable photos permissions to save gameplay yes I'm going to allow access to all photos Find your friends on Backbone faster. Gaming is more fun with friends. Allow as well. Okay. Looking for friends. Three people may already know your Backbone. Uh, skip for now. Put this away. Find games that support controls in App Store game tabs. They have this icon. Alright. Okay, got it. Play your Xbox, PlayStation or PC anywhere, Backbone supports, alright, the PS Remote Play, I'm going to use that, as well as Steam, that is pretty good. No console, no problem, obviously, we know that already. Claim 365 days free, one year free of Backbone app and perks included, complete setup. Okay guys, so everything looks 
that is set up so press the backbone button anytime to open backbone so I'm going to press that and there we go we are in the menu of the backbone one as you guys can see it looks like a small screen from the PlayStation you can see the home screen there we go the response times look really good so as you guys can see here at the top let me zoom in so you guys can see much better it says how many friends I believe on Backbone I do have online the time obviously the Wi-Fi is connected as well as the percentage of my phone so let me zoom it out a little bit there you go so if I press this once okay I go into the home screen so I'm going to press that again and PlayStation app let's see okay this is new open PS remote so I'm not going to do that right now let's continue regarding our home screen invite a friend share your link okay I will take a look later on at that what do we have here here is kind of a settings bar people you may know all right some notifications as well and messages welcome to backbone chat please always be respectful okay we know that so I'm going to back that out and I believe these are some games that are already kind of a uh, for you to play them on the backbone one view all games so I believe this is the one that that we were mentioned earlier at the beginning that these games are kind of uh, playable on the backbone so for now let's give it a try and going to cancel that no we don't want this close this back up so let's use code mobile and let's check this out touch one touch only tutorial if you're new to code mobile no no there you go the app opens up so let's wait for it to load and I see you in a bit okay guys so the COD mobile has loaded so for now let's select a quick match just to give you an example on how it looks so I'm going to use domination and the map is currently set on shipment so I'm going to leave that and start so I'm going to increase a little bit of the volume let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see much better the controllers so I'm going to use with that, oh so this is the map. okay so we started Domination. so the response is looks really good the enemy A. that's good but if you notice on this side guys wait a minute the controllers are still marked just like the Xbox one as you guys can see you have A, X so it's not converted you know to the PlayStation version so we'll see maybe an update will be coming out to arrange that so let's go Man, it's different with a controller. I'm used to just play on the screen until I get used to with the controller, you know. Wow, it's different. Jeez, I need to arrange my sensitivity as well. It's much more different. Wow, I'm going so bad. <laughs> Until I get used to it, you know, it's... Oh, 
Boom. So let's quit this. There you go. So now let's, I believe I need to close this menu. Do I close game or just... No? No. So press that. So now let's test the remote play. So simply press this button. Open up. Alright. Quickly hold down the back bow button to access the PS console home screen during remote play. Alright. So let's wait for that to log into my PlayStation. Yes, that's the one. As you guys can see, there you go. So let's see the response time. Not that bad, it looks. So let me turn off the speakers on the PlayStation. So let me elevate this a little bit so you guys can see as well what I'm going, to, what I'm doing right now. There we go. There is my PlayStation. All right, and here is the Backbone One. It looks okay. So let's go and test GTA Five. There you go. And there you go. So let's see the response time on this. Looks okay. I mean, it looks good. Let's go for a ride. So let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. There you go. Looks good. Okay, hey guys, I'm re really sorry for that quick cut, but my uh, camera video ran out because the video was being too long and I needed to restart again the camera of recording. So let's close this video up. So let's get back to our okay. safe house and put this motorcycle at rest. There we go. There we go. So I'm going to close this app. So simply press and hold this button. And that goes into your home screen of the PlayStation. And normally, just like you would, press the options button and close the game. So the game has been closed. Simply press this button. And the remote play has been disconnected. And you are back to the home screen of the backbone. So guys, the video has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed its quick unboxing as well as a little bit of review on the remote play as well as COD Mobile. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And guys, if you would like to buy this product, I will have a link down in the description to purchase it directly from the Backbone store. So guys, until next time, the Game Leader here. Bye-bye for now.